Well, welcome back and a happy new year, 2024. And we're on Sunday the 6th, sorry, no. 7th. Sunday the 7th of January. I'm out with me dad over the hill wild camper and we're in back in the Cheviots and we're going to Cold Law for a, just a simple basic camp. I say basic, uh, my pack doesn't feel anything like basic. It's chocker. So anyway, we're going to get up there, pitch the tent, new shelter tonight, and then you can enjoy watching me cook a Trangia masterclass. But uh, we've picked a good weather window. It's going to be a very, hopefully, calm night. Cold, no rain, clear skies. Should be a good one. And it's nice to get one under the belt, isn't it, Dave? It is, yes. Right, first so... Of, first one of 24. Yeah, first of 2024. Between me and you, I hate this time of year. It's the hardest time of year for motivation, isn't it? Should be the best time. New year and everything, but New now, beginnings. It's a drag. Right, anyway, let's get up that hill. Right, so we're about half a mile or so from the summit of Cold Law in the Hart Hope. Is it the Hart Hope Valley? Wait, that's where we've left. That's where we left the car. Left the car at the Carey Burn. And there, uh, the backpack I've got on, it's my only backpack now because I, I sold me my Osprey Kestrel 48 litre on eBay. And then, um, and so I'm using this 35 litre Atom, which is like for ultralight backpacking. And I'm doing anything but ultralight backpacking. I've not even weighed it today, but I think I look more like a hobbit. I think there's more on the outside of me pack than there is on the inside. I'll let Dave give you a bit of a look at the backpack. Yes, so there's, it's a bit of a mishmash. But as you can see, there's lots of water, lots of water, lots of food. There's the ensuite. Uh -huh. There's Santa, Santa's presents. Tripod. Tripod, brand new camera. Water, oh, he's well loaded. So I think I'm going to have to give in and, <clears throat> at least for the winter or like the Trangia camps, I think I'm going to have to get a, a bigger capacity backpack. So. Uh, the, the Kestrel Osprey 48, it was lovely pack and dead comfortable, but it's like 1.6 kilos before you've put anything in it. Well, it. And this is like 500 grams. So it's like carrying around more than a kilo. So I, I don't know. Anyway, once you get over nine kilos with this pack, the comfort drops and it definitely does. So anyway, I think I'll uh, treat myself to a slightly bigger pack but I think still like frameless and try to keep the weight down you know right anyway I'll stop waffling and I'll see you at the top well we're here that's called law that only took about well one hour five minutes and it was 1.8 mile from the, where we've parked the car, so a nice easy one. But there's a, well that's a trig point obviously, and there's a cairn over there by the looks of it. So next, the next mission is to find somewhere big enough to fit two decent sized shelters. Right. <clears throat> Right, well, uh, it's not exactly level, so it wasn't easy to put up, but managed all right. It's certainly a damn sight easier 
than the DCF version of this shelter. So this is the the Sil Poly MLD Trail Star and it's the first time it's been out other than the back garden. I snapped the peg though so I haven't been able to peg that out. So that's a, a, a nine inch eastern I've obliterated. It was already a bit of a bend in and when I, I hit a rock and it snapped. So it shows they're not indestructible. Right, anyway. I'm gonna get set up and then uh, get put some warm clothes on. Then we'll think about getting on with the, the dinner, eh? Right, so, we've set the kitchen up and we're going to have a Trangia Masterclass and normally I do it from a different part of the world, world cuisine and so today it's going to be a North African Trangia Masterclass and we're having lamb tagine. So I've lit the stove and I'll try and talk you through it bit by bit. So as you can see we've got the mise en place going on here. So um, I'm going to start by frying some onion and some garlic and then in here I've got some lamb, leg of lamb steaks and I've diced them up and I've marinated them overnight in harissa and what's that spice called? It's something like Ras El Hanout or something like that. But basically it's a spice mix that you use for tagine and then we've got some tomato puree, tinned tomatoes, some chopped up uh, dried apricots and then we'll finish it with some fresh coriander and then once that's cooked then I'll make the couscous and in the couscous I've got well couscous I've got some dried fruit mixed with some cumin seeds and a shallot so I'll saute the shallot then introduce the cumin seeds and uh, dried fruit. Then, the, then we'll put the couscous in and then pour boiling water on it with perhaps a tiny little bit of stock and then let that soak for five minutes and then that should be it. So I'm going to get started now. Right, one red onion. So I'll just put some olive oil in. Right, so we've um, we're cooking the onion out and I've introduced some garlic. I put two big cloves of garlic in and one large red onion. And I'm just sauteing that in some olive oil. But we've got to make sure these onions are well cooked. Right, so the uh, onions and garlic are uh, nicely cooked, so now we're going to put the lamb in. So as I said, I've marinated this overnight. Let's get that in there. Right, so I've sealed that lamb. So I'm going to put some tomato puree in now, just maybe like a, maybe a dessert sized spoonful. And we'll cook that out now. Right, so I've, um, I've cooked out the tomato puree and now I'm going to put in some dried apricots. I couldn't tell you how many, there's that many. So I'm going to pop them in and then I'm going to put a spoonful, maybe 
three quarters or maybe two thirds of one of them no stock things. Ah, oh, when most of it went in there, I'll just take a bit back. Because I want a bit for the couscous. Right. And then I'm going to put in a tin of tomatoes. So the only other thing left to go in there is some lemon juice and some fresh coriander but that'll they'll go in at the very end <clears throat> so now we just got to let that simmer for uh, well, at least 30 minutes at least we'll have a look at it then okay right so that lamb's been brazen now for maybe i don't know half an hour but i'll tell you what it's long enough because it's frozen sat here so i'm going to take the lamb off and then we're going to start the couscous so let's get this off I'll just set that one side and put a, a lid on it and then in here I've got a shallot some cumin seeds some dried fruit and we'll just soften all that up first okay so we've um, I've softened the shallots and the cumin seeds and the dried fruit. I've put some water in and it's boiling so now I'm going to put some couscous in and we'll soak this couscous. So we'll give that a bit of a whiz around. Just because it's so cold out here I'm just going to let it come back to the heat which it already has. And then <clears throat> we'll put the lamb back on and we'll use the couscous as the lid and then put the lid on the couscous. Okay, right, so that couscous has been soaking for about seven minutes, so I'm going to have a little peek at it. That looks like couscous now, that's worked that's work the treat. So I'm just fluffing up the couscous. That looks nice. Great, I'm gonna take that off. Put the lid on it. I'm gonna squeeze some lemon in the tagine. And then uh, put some of this coriander in. That looks brilliant, doesn't it? It does, it looks lovely. So, I'm now going to put the lid back on that. Then we'll give the couscous a squirt of lemon. There appears to be no seeds in them lemons, which is good. I don't know if they've invented seedless lemons. Right, and I think what we'll do now is we'll dish up the couscous. I was just going to say, and all that was done without ever mentioning... Oh, my NVQ level 1? Exactly. Never mentioned till now. Oh, yeah, the NVQ level 1 and professional cook <laughs> from Gateshead College. That's the one I'm but, thinking about. I mean, this doesn't, this doesn't just happen by accident, you know. Anyway, what we're going to do is eat this and we'll tell you how it tastes. Right, well that's it. Tagine, lamb tagine on the trangia, on cold law. Aptly named. Yeah, cold law and it is cold on January the 6th, 2024. And I'll, I'll try it. That's really nice. That's very fruity. 
and savoury all at the same time. Right, we're going to enjoy this. We'll not make you watch us eat it though. I'll see you when I'm in bed because it's freezing. Well, as you can probably see, we've been caught in the snow again. It wasn't forecast. In fact, it was forecast for clear skies. I was going to try and do some star photography, but no chance of that. <laughs> there you go. Over the hill, wild camper. Right, well, we had to make a bit of a dash for our tents there. It was forecast for clear skies and um, aye, the snow came out the blue. But to be honest, I like when it snows, so it's not a problem. Anyway, back in the tents, I've had a coffee to warm up a bit. Although it's not like, it's not that cold to be honest. It's, uh, it's quite comfortable. It's, is it, a little bit damp in here on the walls of the shelter and um, be better if it was a bit colder to freeze it up but anyway so we're gonna uh, we'll listen to some podcasts and have an early night and then I'll see you in the morning so I'll bid you good night Well, morning. Well, I was, a, again, as typical for me, a bit of a broken sleep. Uh, I did sleep, but on and off. But I wasn't cold, and uh, there wasn't any wind. There was, seemed to be like a pitter patter of rain throughout the night. I think it was rain, I don't think it was snow. But there is still snow on the ground, like... I think, yeah. Anyway, I've put the kettle on and I'm going to make some porridge and have a coffee. When I bring me trangy, I tend to make porridge from scratch rather than them daft porridge pots. So in there, I'd normally put like a, a cup of oats and then um, two teaspoons of soft brown sugar. And uh, about two teaspoons or two heaped teaspoons of milk powder, uh, and a and a good good pinch of salt. That's much nicer than the uh, the instant porridge rubbish. Right. Anyway, I'll do this breakfast, and then we'll get packed up. Right, so, let's give this a go, eh? Just what you need on a morning like this. Well, as you can see, we've left no trace in a in a fashion. Nearly no trace. Anyway, that was cold law. That's the first wild camp of the year. It's good to get one under the belt. Did you enjoy it, dear? Yes, I did. Aye, it was really good. Nice food, bit of snow. Bit nice of clag. And, bit of clag, nice and warm and comfortable. Proper murky, moody conditions. It's what you come out for in the winter, isn't it? Right, anyway, I'm going to get back to the car, get home, and get on with Monday. Right, thanks for watching, and see you on the next one. Cheers.